guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a rapid fire five minute stitch fix, and then I'm going to take you shopping at my local mall. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. I am going to put all of the big long stitch fix names along with sizing and pricing in the description box below. The first piece is this light and airy white cardigan by Love Ellie. I absolutely love the way this felt on. It really did feel airy. It's in this pretty white so it's going to go with everything and it has this lovely pointel detail. This is $44, which in the Stitch Fix world is not bad, and if you buy all five pieces, you get an additional 25% off. I like this, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It does have a hood, by the way. This feels so delicate, which is one of the things that I like about it. But even as I was pulling the sleeves on, I had to take my rings off and be very careful. This is the kind of piece that feels like if I sneeze, it is going to snag, not even joking. I do love the way it looks on. I love the way it feels on, but I feel like I would destroy this. I'm not very gentle with my clothes. Another concern that I have, and it sounds really weird, is because there are a lot of open weave areas, I burn easily in the summer, even with sunscreen. I feel like I would end up with this polka dotted pattern. You know, like how when people wear Crocs and then their feet get sunburned? I don't want that all over me. So I'm really on the fence about this one. Is this one a keeper or should I pass? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's look at the next piece. The next piece is a pair of jeans, and I'm just going to rip the Band-Aid off. These are $99. These are Gen 7 by 7 for all mankind. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, first and foremost, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. You know that I often wear jeans from Walmart, and I love them. These are in another level for sure. I do, however, have two issues with these. One being the price, of course, and the other one, these are a size 4 petite, and I like to cuff a slim boyfriend, which is what these are. I felt like if I put even the smallest cuff in these, these were too short. These are crazy comfortable, very well made. They are a classic five pocket style. I do like the wash. They have a little bit of whiskering and fading, and I also love the fact that they are a slim boyfriend. I think these are really cute for spring and summer. I just don't know if I can get past the price. Let me know in the comments down below should I keep these and exchange them for a regular length or should I pass on them all together let's look at the next piece the next two pieces are actually the same top but in a different color this is by the brand paper moon they call this the Walita cutout detail something or another there are several things that I like about this both of these tops are $38 which in the stitch fix world is just about as good as it gets I like both of these. This is 100% polyester, and when it's really hot in the summer, I tend to gravitate away from polyester with one exception, if it is a sleeveless top, which both of these are, because that way I feel like the heat doesn't get trapped in, if that makes sense. These are both in a size small petite. I think the pattern and color on both of these is really pretty. When I first pulled these out of the box, my biggest concern was the button on the back where this keyhole is, because I just don't do well with these fussy little buttons. I was thrilled to find that I can actually pull this on over my head without unbuttoning it, so that is a win. I also have narrow shoulders and I was worried that this part would come down too low underneath the arm, but it fit me perfectly. This is a very flowy top. When I was filming the try-ons and I would turn to the side, I noticed in the viewfinder that this was really billowing out at the tummy area, which is the last area that I want to add any volume. So I do prefer this with a little bit of a front tuck. I am curious what you think of the color and the pattern pattern on this one, so be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Then here is the same top in another color, and I have to say that this is more up my alley. I love vibrant color. 
I love navy blue, and I think that the coral and fuchsia pop in this is really pretty. As I mentioned, this is the exact same top as the pink one. I do want to mention that the cutout detail does not come too low. It doesn't show any cleavage. I was concerned about that. I'm really leaning toward keeping both of these. With that said, let me know in the comments down below, should I keep the navy one, the pink one, both, or neither? Let's look at the next piece. The final piece in the box is another pair of jeans, and I knew as soon as I saw the tag that these were going to be a contender because Democracy is one of my all-time favorite brands of jeans. The Stitch Fix price for these jeans is $78, which I know is up there. I often buy this brand at either Boscov's or a different department store at 30 and 40% off. With that said, I haven't seen this particular pair anywhere. They're calling these the Absolution Skyrise Semi Bootcut Jean. I like so much about these. I already knew that they would fit impeccably. These are a size 4 just in case you're curious. You can see that there's no stitching on the pocket. It's just a nice clean wash. I love the color of these. They do have a little bit of fading and whiskering. Now I do own several pair of bootcut jeans because it's one of my favorite silhouettes even before they were on trend because I really feel like they balance out the figure. This particular pair has a raw hem and I often like this treatment on straight cut and skinny jeans. I'm not certain how I feel about it on boot cut. These are a size 4 regular length, and typically when I wear boot cut, I like them to almost drag the ground to really elongate the legs, and these did come up a little bit shorter on me. Now, they're probably supposed to be because they're for spring and summer, but I'm really on the fence about this particular pair. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below if I should keep these or pass on them. Just while I'm thinking of it, I will put my Stitch Fix referral link in the description box below. If you've been on the fence about trying Stitch Fix for yourself, and maybe you've watched all of these unboxings and wonder what it's like, you will get a $25 credit toward the purchase of any of the pieces in your box by using this referral link. I will also get a small credit, and I want to thank you in advance if you use my link. Now we're going to go shopping. Now, just like many of you, once in a while I like to go to a mall just to see what's out there. I decided to make it interesting by inviting another YouTuber to join me. We had never met before. I'm here with my friend and fellow YouTuber Carolyn from Carolyn and Her Clothes. We are at Deptford Mall. We're about to shop until we drop. I am going to link her channel in the cards above. Carolyn, how do you feel about visiting the Easter Bunny? I am going to be sprinkling in some footage that I shot at the mall. Full disclosure, I was having some issues with my camera settings, so some of the footage is not the best quality, and the audio is not like what you're hearing right now, but bear with us because I want you to feel like you were there, so I went ahead and added the footage anyway. I want to give you the lay of the land of the mall. Even though by some standards this is not a huge mall, it has a good assortment of stores and boutiques, and Carolyn and I were specifically interested in a couple of stores that were there. There's also plenty of parking just steps away from the entrances. I would never find my car in a huge parking garage, full disclosure, and I really enjoy shopping there because it's easy to walk through the mall, see everything there is, and not be exhausted. We started out at a cute little shop called East Meets West. Carolyn was looking for a gift for her daughter, and we thought we might find something there. She did find a couple of options. I'm not going to say what, because maybe her daughter is watching this video. The shop is a lot of fun to browse. I love all the vibrant colors and textures. As you can imagine, this shop really speaks to my inner hippie chick. They have crystals and incense and vibrant textures and all sorts of tchotchkes. It's a lot of fun just to look around and browse. Next, we went to White House Black Market, and our credit cards are still trying to recover. I have always loved White House Black Market. I don't talk about it very much on my channel because I often show budget fashion, but I will say that I love the aesthetic of that store. I'm very partial to black and white together. It is such a classic combination. It is pricey, but the pieces are so well made. You don't think it's too big here? No. How do you, I think it looks very pretty on her too. 
It's adorable. <laughs> when Carolyn and I were at White House Black Market together, I noticed that we had very similar taste, and we were in dressing rooms right next to each other. She actually passed me a top that I'm going to show you in a try-on because it almost fit her and she thought it might fit me. I ended up buying that top and I love it. Next, we decided to pop into Loft. Now, full disclosure, I really haven't shopped at Loft very much. I've only been in the store a handful of times for a couple of minutes, but it is one of Carolyn's favorite stores, so of course we were going to look around. She saw me looking at these really brightly colored capris, and I would pick them up and put them back and pick them up and put them back. It wasn't the price so much as the vibrant color. She could see that I really loved them, so she pulled them in my size and said, you need to try these on. Before I knew it, she was completely styling me. She had gone to another rack and picked up a matching top. Adorable. It's a cute outfit. I like the fabric of these a lot, actually. And I have never tried on a pair of pants from the store in my life. You ladies make it out okay? Yes. Oh, that you. looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, I have her right? taken a picture because I've never tried on a pair of pants from this store. And she's yeah? like, oh, we have to go to the loft. I'm like, these don't run. Are you guys like bloggers or something? Or? I mean, kind of. Yeah, we're That's kind of so embarrassed. Cute. No, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> That's so fun. And we're back there and I'm very quietly filming because I want to get some footage for you ladies. And I specifically wanted to show Carolyn and I together. All of the sudden the store manager comes back and I froze like a deer in the headlights because I thought for sure she was going to say, you can't film back here. That is not what happened. She actually offered the film for us. Huge shout out to the kindness of the manager at the loft at Deptford Mall. We were able to get this footage. Again, my camera settings were a little bit wonky, but I wanted you to see us together. Now, honestly, I would have never tried on this outfit if Carolyn hadn't picked up my size and handed it to me, but I was so glad that I did. I am glad that I got to go to loft with someone that really knew the ins and outs. She told me when to shop there, when to get the best deals, and when to pass, so it was a lot of fun. And again, if you want to see what Carolyn picked out, be sure and check out her channel. While at the mall, we also popped into Express, and I have to tell you that we were met with an explosion of vibrant color. I love color, but wow, was this a lot of color. So much so that we didn't try anything on in the store. I have to say that I was almost intimidated by it. I don't know if it was just too much color all in one place or what it was, but we kind of did a very brief pass through. Carolyn looked at a top that in hindsight she wished she had tried on, and the next time we go shopping, if that top is still there, Carolyn, you definitely need to try that on. Next, we decided to pop into the Michael Kors store. Now, I have to to admit I have never physically been inside of that store. I usually will look at what they have in the window, but they had some really attractive displays and we decided why not? It doesn't cost a look. So we went in and we both found pieces that we really loved, but it was a little bit too rich for our blood. It was interesting to see what they had. They also have a lot of the vibrant color that is very much on trend this season. So it was fun to look around. And then it happened. We spotted the Easter Bunny and it just just so happened that there was no line. It took a little bit of convincing, but I talked Carolyn into getting a picture with me and this happened. It turns out we had so much fun getting this picture taken. The staff was lovely. They helped us depose our shopping bags because we wanted those in the picture. The Easter Bunny was as sweet as could be. And I personally am really glad that I have this memento of our shopping trip. I have it hanging on a cork board with some other of my favorite photos with friends. Next, it was time to go to lunch. And although they have a food court, I wanted something a little bit special. So we went across the street to a restaurant called called Adelphia's. Carolyn ordered a barbecued chicken sandwich with french fries. They brought us a warm basket of rolls with butter that was delicious. I ordered a flatbread pizza that had arugula and prosciutto. If you're Italian, don't come for me. I'm sure that I'm mispronouncing that, but oh my goodness was that delicious. I ate half of it there. I brought the other half home and had it for lunch the next day and it was still delicious. We were really debating dessert. 
even though we were both stuffed. At Adelphia's, they have every kind of cheesecake that you can imagine. I would go as far as to say that they had almost as many varieties as the Cheesecake Factory. They also had cakes and pastries and even chocolate-covered strawberries. We were too stuffed to order dessert, but when I was editing this video looking at the dessert case, in hindsight, I was wishing I had brought something home at least. Carolyn and I will probably be eating there again, and next time, Carolyn, let's split a dessert and get it out of our system. Carolyn does a lot of unboxings and shopping hauls on her channel, and when you're watching her videos, and I've been watching her from the start, it really is like visiting with a friend, and she is exactly the same way in person. I feel blessed to have been able to spend the day with her. Carolyn, I had so much fun at the mall with you, and I cannot wait until we can go shopping again together. Speaking of other YouTubers, if you would like to see more collaboration videos with other YouTubers, that do fashion videos, be sure and let me know in the comments down below. I think I might be able to arrange some. Now, because I rarely shop at White House Black Market, I really don't know the ins and outs of what is a good deal. But I do know what something costs when I look at the price tag. And when I looked at the price tag of this one, I almost died. It is $110. Now, I have never spent $110 on a top in my life, but Carolyn knows all of the ins and outs and all the secrets to shopping at Loft and White House Black Market. She said, be sure and ask at the cash register if there is a coupon. And lo and behold, there was a coupon, which reduced this dramatically. When I saw this on her, I loved it. She happened to hand it to me. She said, this will fit you. I stepped into the dressing room and tried it on with no intention of buying it. And you'll notice it's in my hand. Why is it in my hand? Because I love it. When I was in kindergarten, this is going to get chatty so you can fast forward, we had a little chest with dress-up clothes. And there was a dress that was pale pink with the same type of fabric with the Swiss dots on it. And the only reason I wanted to be at school was when playtime came and I could put on that dress from the dress-up kit. Now this top brought back nostalgia. I decided to splurge on this, which is extremely rare for me, but I loved everything about this. It has a V neckline, which I'm very partial to. It does have ties, but I would have a tendency to wear this open. And then it has this pretty delicate ruffling at the neckline. It is covered with this textured Swiss dot. And then it also has the smocked detail at the waist and then elastic at the wrist. I wanted to try on this top with several different bottoms to make sure that I would get a lot of use out of it. So the first pair that I pulled, I've actually had these for a while, and this is the only really premium denim that I own that fits currently. These are from White House Black Market. They're called the Everyday Soft Something or Another. I will link all of these pieces down below just in case you're curious. These are so comfortable. These are actually the jeans that I had on when we went shopping together, so I knew they looked good with this top. I also have this sage green pair of cargo pants from White House Black Market. I love the fabric of these. These are lightweight. These are comfortable. I got these in a size four, and when I first put them on, they're very snug, but within about an hour, they stretch out, so I kind of have to just suck it up for the first hour, but then they fit perfectly throughout the day. I love a pair of pants like this for spring and summer in particular. I can cuff the bottom up. I can wear these with anything from sneakers to heels, and then just because I have to be me, I decided to try on this crazy expensive expensive top with a pair of jeans from Walmart. These are by the brand Sofia Vergara. I have not even shown these in a video yet. I love the juxtaposition of a distressed pair of jeans with something a little bit more formal. I know that this look is not for everyone, but I personally love that look. I will link these in the description box below as well. These are a size six. They are $27.50. They do have a raw frayed hem at the bottom and just a little bit of distressing. It's nothing crazy. There's no big gaping holes. I also really like the wash and color of these. When we went up to the cash register, Carolyn was nudging me saying, ask if they have a coupon, ask if they have a coupon. So why not? I wanted to save something. They had a deal where if you spent so much, you got a percentage off or a dollar amount off. And I was just under. And she whispered to me, whatever you pick up, it's going to be free. So I picked up a tank. 
it does have a shelf bra this was originally $26 I actually paid less than the price tag on the blouse and just like Carolyn said I got the tank for free after the shopping trip with Carolyn I was working in another state doing pet photography with the Easter Bunny and those of you that follow me on Instagram probably saw some of the photos that I took if you don't already follow me on Instagram it's the same handle as my channel name I'll put it here but anyway I digress I was working in another state because I live in the tri-state area and I happened to pass a White House black market that I had never been in before in Delaware when I went into this White House black market honestly I had only planned to be in there for a few minutes because I was killing time until it was time to go to work and then this top caught my eye from across the room blue is one of my favorite colors and Carolyn I know blue is one of your favorite colors I don't recall seeing this when we were shopping let me know if you remember it I thought this would look so pretty with white jeans and then when I got closer I realized that this is a completely reversible top I'll show you the other side in just a moment you can wear it on the v-neck side you can wear it on the scoop side and there's a whole nother print underneath I think it's really clever the way it's made but it doesn't add any bulk at all I can wear this with a front tuck or not it's light as a feather for your reference this one that I'm showing you is a size extra small it was originally $59 I did get 25% off thankfully this is an investment piece for sure but I think this will be perfect especially if you're going anywhere for a vacation because you can get two looks for one I was still going back and forth with this particular top until I saw the other side and I realized that I loved both sides equally I have seen reversible pieces where I love one side and the other one's just meh and people will say well you get two looks for one but if you're only ever going to wear it on one side then what's the difference right I genuinely like the print on both of these I love the color on both sides and that's what really cinched the deal and why I picked it up um, we're gonna try out some unusual clothing items. I'm gonna find Teresa a dominatrix outfit. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I keep putting that rear view mirror. There we go. Carolyn, how do you feel about visiting the Easter Bunny? I'll take that as a yes. Kind of feel like I'm too close. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. I sound extra lispy today. <laughs> it is a decent price point for Stitch Fix. These are by the brand 7 by All Mankind. These are Gen 7 by 7 for All Mankind and a few moments later these are gen 7 by 7 for all mankind why does a pair of jeans need that long of a name i don't know 